I'm Parker from Lightstep, and I'll be giving you a quick overview of our service diagram feature and show how it can help you investigate critical issues and understand service dependencies. In this example, I'll assume the role of an iOS developer working on an e-commerce application. I've heard reports from our users that every once in a while, they have to wait for multiple seconds as our app readies the next view. To better understand this behavior, I'll query Lightstep to only show requests originating from our iOS client. You'll see that we immediately get a view of the performance across all of our iOS calls. Performance is broken up into two distinct groups, performant and latent. Here, our latent group has calls taking upwards of four seconds, definitely not what we'd like to see when most interactions seem to complete in less than 100 milliseconds. Of course, there's multiple potential causes to explain this difference, network latency, performance differences across devices, or backend service issues. To help identify where latency is actually coming from, we can look to our service diagram. I can see I started my search at the iOS client and Lightstep has built out all of the resources I'm dependent on, even those at the bottom of my stack, six layers downstream from my iOS client. Looking at the latency distribution depicted by the yellow rings around each service, I can see that the bulk of the transaction time is spent on the iOS client, waiting as the response traverses the internet from our backend to the user's device. It's worth noting that even though the API proxy is waiting on a response from the API server, Lightstep doesn't depict that latency since it isn't on the critical path for the transaction. This ability, powered by the underlying trace data, means I don't have to waste time looking into parts of the system which aren't causing meaningful impact. Essentially, if you make improvements where you can see yellow rings, you're sure to have a meaningful impact on the critical path. But today, I'm not looking to improve overall performance, I'm searching for regressions. And to accomplish that, I want to see how this changes between my total population and my more anomalous transactions. So, I'll look at the P99 on the latency histogram and zoom into that most latent group of requests. For this group, our problem isn't coming from the iOS client or time spent between the client and our backend, but rather from the API server. Clicking into the API server, I'm able to see the operations which are responsible for this user-facing latency. And clicking into the individual traces, I can see exceptions, log events, and contextual tags which show that the cause of my latency appears to be the result of a lack of caching capacity. Now there's a lot of additional problems our service maps can help us understand. For example, I see some errors on my auth service and I'd like to understand who else that might be impacting. A pivot of my search around the auth service tells me that the web app is also going to be impacted by these errors. So I might wanna give that team a heads up by sharing a snapshot with them over Slack. We'll cover snapshots in another video, but in short, they capture the results of every query through either the Lightstep UI or our API and bundle that data together in an easily shareable link. Thank you for checking out this brief overview of our service diagram feature. If you're interested in learning more, feel free to give our demo environment a try at lightstep.com or send us an email at hello at lightstep.com.